Hi guys, uh, thanks for uh, taking our installation services. Um, the following video is going to briefly explain uh, what to do next now that you've received your installation. Um, for those of you using the test drive or flow launch plugin, I'll show you how to use that and I'll give a quick explanation um, as to how that works. Um, and also I'll give you just a quick overview of some of the things that you might want to update um, whenever we send you the new site so if we've sent over a new site and you have um, it's set up on a new site, it wasn't WordPress previously, um, it'll probably be uh, set to a new location. So it'll be, it would be something like, uh, on my example, yourflow.com forward slash new site, for example. And you would just go there and log in the same as you would as normal um, and you'll be able to start straight away. Uh, for those of you that have um, we've used the launch plugin. So you'll have your existing site like I have right now, um, but you'll need to log into your WordPress backend. So I've already logged in um, to my backend and everything's as normal, this is, this is my current site, but I wanna see the new site. So to do that, you'll wanna to go to settings and flow launch. And in here, you'll, you will be able to uh, enable the test mode for your site. So you'll want to go ahead and uh, click enable test mode. And in doing so, uh, you will enable uh, a cookie that will uh, be saved in the browser that allows you to view uh, the test site. So once that's enabled, you'll start to be able to browse your new test site. So we'll hit refresh. And now you can see uh, the new test site. So. Just a quick note, don't hit publish the test site. Um, if you do that, you will override your current site. So leave that, do not do not touch that. If you want to disable the test mode um, so you can see the site as normal, um, just click disable test mode um, once you're done with your editing. Just another note, um, only you as a logged in user um, and someone who has enabled test mode will be able to see the site. And that will also only be um, particular to a, partic uh, a browser that you have enabled it in. So if you're using Chrome and you've went in and enabled it in a Chrome browser, you'll be able to see the test site. But for example, if I went and I copied this and I went to a different browser like Safari, for example, and I checked your site, I, as a, a normal user coming to your site, will still be able to see um, your old site. So. As you can see, it's, uh, it's different between the two. It is used uh, based on cookies. So um, just make note of that as well. Existing users can use the site as normal. That's, that's part of the process. So whenever you've received the site, the guys will have styled uh, the site based on uh, the, the requirements you've left in the form. And this will be like the first view. So you'll, you'll be able to get a feel for how it's uh, starting to take shape. It may be the case that you have to add uh, more content um, it may be the case that there's some items missing that you want to add and you didn't, maybe didn't think about prior. Um, but the main uh, part for you guys will be to now starting adding new content. So for example, if, if you came from a, a different uh, a WordPress provider before or maybe you transferred from uh, a different provider such as Squarespace, uh, things like galleries are probably not going to be uh, present already. Um, not WordPress or not flow themes specific galleries anyway. So I'll quickly show you uh, the WordPress backend so you have a better idea uh, where to go for each of those items. Um, other things that won't be uh, there already would probably be the, the home slideshow, which you can see here. It's the, it can be full screen, you know, um, visible nearby, etc. Uh, and also the contact page. Uh, the contact page should be set up as long as you left us with um, uh, an email address to set that up. Uh, we'll set that up for you, that's not a problem. Um, the galleries and the slideshows, you may want to update yourself. So uh, I'll give an example. If you want to find your, your gallery and you want to update these images because um, you've just sent over a couple of filler images so you have something to work with, um, you can easily go to slideshows. So that'll be in the WordPress backend. Just click slideshows and then find the homepage slideshow. We'll just select home. And now you want to update the, those images. 
So there's a few images in here right now. Um, if you want to delete images, you can. If you want to add new slice with images, uh, you can click Add Slice with Images and select any images that you want to add. Add it to your gallery and just update. Now, everyone will have a different theme, so the, this may not be present, but the process for adding images will be the same. Uh, this is also the same for galleries. So we've just updated a slideshow. Once you refresh it, it will show on your page. That's cool. Uh, another area that you will probably want to upload new uh, content will be galleries because we obviously have our own uh, post type for that. So you'll want to go to galleries and uh, you'll want to start populating your galleries. Now, some people will do multiple. Uh, in this instance, uh, for my site, I would have multiple galleries uh, and each of them may be a different category. Um, or it may just be you know, some of my uh, favorite uh, galleries. So you can categorize them as well if required. But um, I would, uh, if you're just uploading one, great. Just, just go ahead, uh, add a new gallery. And again, it's going to be different for each, uh, but the process is very similar. So just name it. Uh, make it descriptive. So I just added a new gallery for now. Um, and then you'll want to go to the, uh, for some people you'll have a, a gallery type this will be in the newer themes and uh, you can select the type if you want if not it will use the default uh, settings in the flow themes area down here but I'll talk about that briefly in a moment and then you'll want to go to the attached images section which is just like so. so again you would just click add gallery images uh, select a number of images Uh, add it to the gallery and then you would just uh, publish that. Uh, the guys will have set up the gallery page uh, for you. Uh, you'll also want to add a featured image. Uh, I did forget to mention that. So add a featured image as well. Uh, make it one of from your posts opt-in. The guys will have set up the, uh, the portfolio page for you already if you requested it. And if so, all galleries should filter into that page like I've just done. So the new gallery I created will come straight in there. All you guys will have to do is upload the new galleries um, and just make sure that when you are uploading your new galleries that your images are well optimized. Uh, we would recommend using images of around 1500 pixels in height and that's present for both your uh, landscape and portrait images uh, because height will be the determining factor uh, for how they look. So 1500 pixels in height should be uh, perfect for that. Um, finally, I'm just going to uh, quickly talk about the flow themes area. Um, so the flow themes area is uh, one of the areas you may want to make some updates to the settings um, and each will be different depending on which theme you have. But in here you'll be able to do a, a number of things. Uh, for example, you can add uh, new logos uh, you could uh, select uh, different menu types. You'll also have areas for content settings for like your blog post. You may have particular things you want to turn off like dates in the blog post, categories for example. Uh, this will also be the same for galleries and you'll also be able to select you know, your default options for each of those. And again also for, for slideshows for example. You'll also have uh, footer settings which, which you'll probably want to update to yourself to say it's uh, uh, copyright by X, Y, and Z, John, Joe, whatever you want to put in there. Um, you'll have a typography uh, options. Again, each theme is different, but with our newer themes, we've uh, enabled two, uh, two options. There's like a base fonts. Um, with these, the base fonts section, it's super neat. You just uh, choose the four fonts uh, for your styling and just save it. Um, and that's going to work great uh, for you because uh, that will update the entire style of your site. Um, we built the sites around sort of four fonts as, you, as we do with uh, our brand packages. So again, you would select one for your menu font and that would also be for call to action and buttons. Uh, you'll also have something for your submenu font and that's for like subtitles, reply to links, etc. Uh, you'll have one for all page and post titles and then you'll have one for your general content font. So that's just the standard font uh, that you'll have in your, your content for your pages and your, and your comments, etc. Um, if you update those four and save it, you're going to have um, a completely different look to your site. Uh, another area to note is we do have a, a, 
a custom CSS section. So maybe you know it's a bit of CSS and you want to change some items. Maybe you want to hide some things. Maybe you want to update uh, items that aren't uh, technically possible as standard with the theme. The CSS section is there um, for you. Even when you update the theme, this will remain. So you can you can add your, your CSS here as required. Um, and one final note, there is a search option. So maybe you want to find uh, something in particular, an option. So I'm, I'm searching for gallery, for example. And it will. you can just type it into the search and you'll find all the um, areas that you need for that. So you'll have uh, all the different options um, related to gallery and then you know you can you can do that so maybe you, you can't find something just type it in the search section uh, and you should be able to get that um, that should be everything for folks uh, if you have any further questions with the team um, as I said please review the site first uh, start adding all your new content um, and then you'll be able to give us more feedback on uh, assistance with styling um, and if you have any questions uh, the teams uh, will be more than happy to help. Uh, please make sure to uh, use the uh, free uh, call that you have. Um, set up a Skype call with one of the guys in the team. Uh, they'll also be able to uh, help you with that. It's a, it's a quick 30 minute call, uh, but it should really help you go through the process if you have any further questions. So take advantage of that. It is available with the full installation package. Um, and that should be everything. So uh, as I said, just uh, Check your site, speak to your team, and um, we're more than happy to help. Thanks.